I'm here for my second time trying to film this favorites video. The first time I filmed it, lipstick all over my teeth, the whole video. So today we're gonna do favorites. I'm gonna show you a lot of products I've been loving for the month of June. As you can see, I have a new background. I'm trying out the new backdrops. I've seen them all over YouTube and I get bored really easily. So this is a fun way to kind of switch up my backdrop. Are you really mowing right now? Literally, you can just turn it off. So I have some new backdrops. You'll see in a tutorial coming up, I have a glittery one. On Snapchat, I posted a few other ones that I got, but basically I just made a um, backdrop holder out of some PVC piping I got at Home Depot, some like little clamp things, and then some fabric I picked up at Joann's. So it's super easy. If you make videos and you wanna have some cool backdrops, it's honestly so simple. The hardest part is picking out what fabric you wanna use. So I have a few different ones. I'm trying out this really pretty like rose, creamy beige backdrop so i figured it's spring summer well it's actually summer now i'm wearing like a dress with floral we'll just go with the floral thing so loving the backdrop and it will change sometimes there won't be a backdrop sometimes there will kind of reconfigured this room so behind me now is like a closet and part of my wood wall so i'm just trying to figure out what i want to do for backdrops because i've been getting bored with it but Let's get into the favorites. Okay, starting off with some skincare favorites. One of my favorite things in the summertime is this Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. This has SPF 30 in it. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it time to weed whack now? So the first is the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I love this, especially in the summertime because I am at the lake all the time. I know I mentioned that in a lot of videos, but I'm always outside at the lake, at the river, outside doing something. And I've noticed this is the first summer that I really haven't worn very much makeup. It's very weird because there's a hair in my mouth and that is weird. It's really weird because I have always been the kind of person that wears makeup everywhere all the time, every day. It's my favorite thing to do. It's my favorite thing to do in the morning. But for the past few weeks, I honestly have hardly worn makeup unless I'm filming a video. Like maybe I put on foundation or a BB cream, but it's very rare. But this is something I do love to use because it kind of blurs out any imperfections in your skin. It evens out the texture of your skin, kind of fills in any pores or fine lines. And it just makes your skin look so much better without having to put any makeup on. So on the days, well, I wear this every day, but especially on the days where I don't really want to wear makeup, this just makes my skin feel and look better. And I love that it has the SPF 30 in it. So this is definitely a June favorite. What could you possibly be blowing? I don't even have any leaves. So that is my first skincare favorite. Next is a moisturizer. This is the Murad Oil Control Mattifier SPF 15. And I love this for, it can get real hot up here in Northern California. Some people think Northern California, mountains, it's cold. No, it is hotter than you insert what's something that's very hot because that's what it is. It gets to be 110 sometimes, 120, 115. It gets hot, 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 hot here. So I like something that is going to kind of still moisturize because even if you have oily skin, you still need to moisturize your skin, but I want it to kind of mattify as well. And I love this. It's been like my go-to for the month of June and I love it, especially in my T-zone because it helps keep the oil at bay but it also doesn't like mattify my foundations. So it kind of like makes my skin be normal so I could wear glowy foundations and it's not gonna be like a grease ball city all over my face. So I absolutely love this. If you have oily skin, I think you're going to adore it. If you have combo skin, you're gonna love it. Um, my skin is pretty normal to combo. I do get a little bit more oily in the T-zone during the summer months, but absolutely adore this. It doesn't dry my skin out. It doesn't make my makeup apply weird or pilly. Some mattifying products just really can mess with your foundation. This does not, and I absolutely love this stuff. Right, the next is two eye cream combinations that I'm just like, ah, I love it. So I picked these up because Walgreens was having a skincare promo a month or two ago. And um, this I've used for years and I really love it. So I went back to it because I'm out of, out of eye cream. This is the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Eye Cream. It has retinol in it. I love this eye cream so much. I think it's like 20 bucks. So it's a little expensive for the drugstore, but this is the eye cream I use morning and night. And then in the morning over, I use this over this, it is the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur Instant Eye Smoother. And this is so great to fill in those fine lines under your eyes. It just it doesn't have like a metal tip or anything like some other like eye products do, 
but it does kind of fill in your under eyes. It's not too thick, so it's not gonna give you like milia under your eye. And it just, I don't know, it's, it kind of does what this does for your under eye area. To me, it makes my concealer go on really beautifully. Um, it doesn't get dry, it doesn't get um, crepey, doesn't settle into fine lines. I just love it. It's like that instant filler for your under eye area. So I highly recommend checking this out if you have those little fine lines under your eyes. I think you'd really like this. All right, next is going to be a primer. I have used the heck out of this. This is the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Afterglow Primer and Illuminizer. This is stunning. If you are a fan or you have been wanting to get the Becca Backlight Primer Filter, I would recommend checking this out. It's less expensive. It doesn't come in that beautiful frosted glass um, pump bottle. It is a squeezy tube, but honestly, when you're done with the product, does the packaging really matter? No. So it's the same kind of pearly color as the other one. It kind of has like that beigey pearl. And honestly, it just gives your skin this beautiful, healthy glow. I'm wearing it today under my foundation. It doesn't make you overly oily or shimmery or sparkly or glittery. It just has this beautiful um, sheen to the skin that's absolutely stunning. And I just can't get enough of this. I use this almost every single day, no matter what foundation I'm using. As for foundation, the foundation that I cannot put down is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I have it in all the shades. I purchased two shades off Ulta and then L'Oreal was nice enough to send me a PR package with all the shades and I adore it. Um, today I'm wearing shade 202 and 203 mixed and I'm pretty fair, although I just did a spray tan, like the Mystic Spray um, at like our local tanning place. Um, and I usually will go and do the tan over my makeup. That way my face doesn't get overly dark. Little tip there. Um, your makeup kind of acts as a barrier so your face and your nose especially doesn't turn like super, super dark. And so I went and spray tan. It's kind of like developing. I didn't get the instant bronze. So I'm going to be getting tanner. But my pale shade is like 202, 203. My tan shade is about 205 to 206. And I adore this. It gives you the most beautiful radiant glow to your skin. It's long wearing. It feels light on the skin. It's medium coverage. And I, I just can't get enough of it. It's been the only foundation that I've been using lately. If this is a little bit too glowy, mix in a little bit of the Pro Matte and that will just help matte it down a tiny bit. Or if the Pro Matte is too matte for you, add some of this to make it a little bit more glowy. I just think this foundation is so fantastic and honestly, I haven't been able to stop using it. So if you can get your hands on this, I highly recommend it. Ulta has it. Um, and I'm trying to think where else I saw it. I think Ulta is the only place I've seen it so far but highly, highly recommend this. This foundation is amazing. A concealer that has now taken my holy grail status is the Born This Way Concealer from Too Faced. I have been hardcore for the Urban Decay Naked Concealer as well as the MAC Pro Longwear for years. Ever since the Naked one came out, that has like took over the Pro Longwear. This has taken over both. It gives the most beautiful um, glow to the under eye area. Like it, it illuminates it and kind of gives it this dewy, um, healthy radiance, but it's not um, not greasy looking. So if you have like dry under eyes, if you have mature under eyes, I think you're really gonna like this. I even set mine with powder and honestly, it never cakes up. It doesn't settle into fine lines. The coverage is great. It smells like, kind of smells coconutty. It reminds me of their Hangover RX primer. This is seriously so incredibly beautiful. They have a great shade range. Um, this is the shade light, which is what I use most often. If I'm super pale, I'll go to fair. And I think there's even a shade lighter than fair. It's called like very fair, but absolutely adore this concealer. It is hands down my new Holy Grail concealer. So for some brushes, I am a huge fan of the Artiste brush. This is the Oval 8. I think it's amazing. Years ago when MAC had some of these oval brushes, I purchased them, didn't really know how to use them. It turns out the guy who makes Artiste also made those MAC brushes. Those were like kind of his trial brushes. Then he went on to make these Artiste brushes. And now there's a bunch of people coming out with like dupes for the Artiste brushes. So probably two months ago, I purchased this whole set off Amazon. I will link it down below. It's from the brand Sancan, I think is what it's called. And it was a whole set of all of these brushes for under $40. So I thought, you know what? $65 for one brush is very steep for a lot of people. Now, if you have the money to splurge, rec I recommend these brushes because they're beautiful. They clean super easy. They're incredibly soft. So if you have the money to splurge, by means, 
I would recommend splurging. But if you don't, this is a fantastic alternative. Um, this one right here is probably the one that's most like the Oval 8 as far as the size wise. It's incredibly soft and I've only ever washed these one time so I don't know how they will hold up after multiple washes. So keep that in mind. But I wanted to show you a few that I really love. So this, I haven't used the big one yet. I've used this smaller size. Now this one I've been using for foundation. I did a tutorial for this look today, but it's gonna have a different background, different clothes. And this was what I used. And I absolutely love it for blending foundation. It blends beautifully. It's incredibly soft. I couldn't really tell a difference between the two when I'm applying it. Now it's going to really depend on the longevity of these brushes versus this one and you know how well they last after cleaning. I really haven't had too much problems with these shedding. So this is the one I use for foundation. I use this smaller one right here, which is quite a bit smaller, for bronzer, um, cream, blon cream bronzer, cream bronzer. It blends it really nicely. Uh, there's this like cool little brush. These ones don't have any names or anything, but I love this one for sharpening up a wing, um, sharpening up under your brows, if you need to sharpen up your lipstick. This one is great. And then it also comes with some of these other brushes that I have not used yet, but I'm really liking them. I've been using them over my Artiste brush because I'm really wanting to get a good feel for them. Uh, the Artiste brush definitely has more weight. Um, these ones are a little bit more flexible, as you can see, like this one flexes way easier than this one does. So this flexes easier than this one. So although um, they're probably not as good quality or um, probably as durable as the Artiste brushes are. I still think these are a great value and I would recommend you guys buying them if you're wanting to try out brushes like this. So I think they're really cool and it's fun to do your makeup. All right, the next is going to be a combination for highlight. I, you guys, I can't stop using these. These are the Cover FX drops. I have Sunlight and I have Celestial. I have a whole um, video I'll link down below of swatches of most of these things because they were in a haul that I just put up. Uh, but Celestial is a little bit more of a kind of pinky silver tone. And if you are very fair, like this will be your jam because it's honestly, look at this. I mean, that's just crazy. It's so beautiful. So light skin, this, you, you'll love this. Um, light, medium, dark sunlight is great. I want to get Moonlight and the bronzer shade. So if you have those, let me know your thoughts because I'm thinking about picking those ones up. But this one is Sunlight. It's a little bit more of a pinky beige tone. So I mix the two and what I do is I do a drop of each, put it on the back of my hand. I take my little damp sponge, dip it in, pat it off a little bit, and then I go in and apply it to the cheekbones. Now you can use this in your foundation. You can use it in your primers, your moisturizers, body lotion. Um, I find that they apply the best with a beauty blender if you're going to pop them on your cheekbones. They have a lot of punch to them, so I don't know how they work in foundations. I know you can mix it in there, but um, these are just so incredibly beautiful and metallic and reflective. It's what I have on today, and then I topped it with the Revolution Makeup Revolution London. Ooh, I love when FedEx comes. And FedEx. Anyways, I love this Shimmer Brick in Radiant. It just gives the most beautiful glow on your cheeks. You can kind of stay in the lighter side to get a lighter color. The bronzy side to get bronze or mix it together. And I just use this MAC fan brush and just kind of pop it on my cheekbones. And it's honestly, look at that. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Highly recommend this, you can get it at Ulta. The next is a eye palette. I can't stop using this. I have a tutorial, I'm wearing it today for this uh, palette here. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance. This palette is stunning. I have quite a few of the Anastasia palettes and honestly, I don't reach for them very often, but this one I use all the time. I love this. I picked this up at Sephora and I just think it's so beautiful. You have a lot of really warm tones, which I'm a big fan of. You have a couple pretty like cooler purpley tones mauve tones, but the palette is amazing. I think there's a lot of versatility to it for having so many warm shades. And I honestly like it has been my go-to palette every single day. Love it, love it. And then some lippies, since I haven't really had any lippies in a favorites for a while. Um, this one is the Lancome La, Lip La Lipstick in Natural Mauve. It's what I have on my lips today. This is a beautiful like, oh, it's just like my favorite color. It's a, a dusty mauve. It's absolutely beautiful. I really like these. They're creamy, they're not drying. 
Um, I'm usually not a big fan of like pencil liners that you have to sharpen because I find that they get dry pretty easy, but this one is not super creamy and beautiful. Two lipsticks that I love and I keep using. This one is Back Talk. It's a comfort matte from the new Vice Urban Decay collection. This is a beautiful mauve pink, you know, my favorite color, a dusty mauve pink. And then what's on my lips is this one in Trance, which I didn't show in my haul because it was in my purse. This is one of their metalized lipsticks. So, it ha and I'm usually not like a metallic lipstick kind of girl, but I love this color. This is the one that's on my lips right now. It's absolutely beautiful. Between these two lipsticks, it's like really all that I've been wearing on my lips. Um, and then I've been topping it with a combination of one of these three lip glosses. I can't stop. This is the Marc Jacobs, their Enamored Lip Lacquer. And this is in Pink Steam. This one is like a purpley um, lavender color and it has like a little bit of like, I don't know, kind of like a pink reflex in it. It's very, very beautiful. They have a minty scent to them. This is the first one that I've owned and I really liked it. These are my two recent purchases. I didn't show them in the haul because again, they were in my purse. This one is in Moon Glow and this is a creamy color. It has no shimmer in it. It's just a light nudie pink. Oh, it's so pretty. Absolutely beautiful. I love the formula. It's not sticky. It's not gloppy or gloopy. Aren't those the same thing? I don't know, but it's just amazing. And then this one is my favorite, 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 and it's what's on my lips, and it's in Love Buzz. Now, you can see it's pink with this gold, like, duochrome shimmer in it. You guys, it's beautiful. And it's a little bit more of a deeper pink than, um, what was this other color called? Moon Glow. Um, you can see it's a little bit of a darker pink, and it has that gold shift to it. And honestly, it's so stunning. I highly recommend checking these out if you haven't already. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite lip gloss formulas. I really love the Buxom Cream, the creamy ones. Uh, those are probably, this is like a close tie with those ones for my favorite. But these are my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you liked the like background. It's going to change. There's gonna be different backdrops. Sometimes there won't be any backdrops. But I just wanted to try something new and fun, and I know a lot of people have been having sweet backdrops, and I'm like, you know, I think I'm gonna try that. So anyways, guys, I hope you're doing well. If you are new, or if you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, and thumbs up this video. It really does help me if you click that little thumbs up button. I think it's over here or over here. It's just the thumbs up. So yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!